How's it going everyone, Tyson Gaming here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. A quick apology for missing the last few episodes. Uh, the last few weeks have been insanely busy, plus with part 3 of Dokkan's 9th uh, anniversary, I wanted to cover that as well. But life just been getting super busy. Busy with work, busy with obviously other games that I want to play and cover. So I haven't really been able to... Uh, sit down and record the Nuzlocke and I've got to say I really miss it I really these are definitely some of my favorite videos to sit down and record but anywho last time on we took care of half of the radio tower incident and now we're gonna do the other half which means I need to figure out the underground puzzle and of course, it, despite being gone from the game for a little while, I still didn't even bother to, you know, look up a guide on how to do the puzzle, so I will be doing this completely blind. Also, I don't remember where to go to, to get to the underground. Where do I go? I forget. I <laughs> forget. Oh, this is, this is gonna be a good episode. I think it's this. Nope, that's the name reader, so it's gotta be this one. Yep, I remember now. I remember. I re remember. Wait, aren't these just the regular trainers? Why are you guys battling me? Don't you know there's like a gang war going on outside? But anywho, if you guys like what you've seen in today's video, make sure you smack the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already, because I am trying to get 1,000 subscribers for the end of 2024. And your subscription would be greatly appreciated. I don't really have a comment question for today, but I do want to say a massive, massive thank you on the previous episode. Probably my second most viewed episode of the Nuzlocke, and probably my one of my top five most viewed Nuzlocke videos altogether. Absolutely insane. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in, leaving likes means the absolute world to me that people take time out of their days to watch my content. But I will hopefully be able to get back to a normal schedule again. Again, it's whenever work just kind of ebbs up, it's like, yep, nope, you gotta focus on this, you can't do your YouTube stuff. And trust me, I would much rather prefer to uh, sit down, record videos, edit them, but you know, I need money. Need money to survive, unfortunately. Hello, Chansey. Okay, Chansey, I know you're a special defense tank, but I doubt with this much level level difference that you'll be able to survive a Typhlosion. Yeah, Blissey. I wonder if Blissey would have been able to. I doubt it. Not with that level difference. Would have been kind of crazy if it could, though. I know, but, but, but if it could, that would have been nuts. That would have been... Absolutely insane. Cool, cool. I'll just kind of speed through these battles because unfortunately I forgot that you, there were underground trainers. Because in Heart Gold Soul Silver, these trainers despawn while the Team Rocket event's going on, but obviously, back in Gen 2, they couldn't really do any of that stuff, so the trainers are still here and active. But so now, I'm just really worried if I'll be able to do the puzzle. I assume future editing me will probably fast forward through probably most of the puzzle, because I imagine it'll take me about maybe 15-20 minutes to get through it. But again, we'll have to wait and see, because I vividly remember how to do it back in Heart Gold Soul Silver. But I know that that puzzle is a little bit different than this. Like, it's structured differently, and obviously you can, uh, you can easily tell... Oh, right, I forgot the rival battle. I completely forgot that, yeah, we have a rival battle here. Hello, Sprite. Alrighty. Let's do this, Sprite. What do you got for me this time? You probably have your Kingdra by now. Oh, you have a Zapdos. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I'm so glad you have a Zapdos, Sprite. That is absolutely awesome. So you'll have this. 
Do we have a Kingdra? I don't think so, because with the randomizer, trade evos and everything happens at level 30, 35 or 37. And with his first Pokemon be at level 30, he might have it by now. He might have it. I do not know, and I hope he doesn't, because I don't want to deal with a Kingdra, because I don't really have a way to do so right now. Oh, was that enough, but it will be with the burn. And thankfully, he decided to go for agility for whatever reason instead of attacking. Hey, Sprite, what else you got for me? Slow King, okay. Yeah, I gotta go straight to Shocky for this one. I doubt this will one shot because Slow King is pretty bulky. Yeah, not even close. I mean, I got kind of close, but Sprite, what are you doing, buddy? I know the AI in this game isn't the smartest thing in the world, but at the same time, well, I imagine it's probably because, oh, I know why, because the, mo the way the AI works in this game is that it doesn't see what the move does, it just sees what type the move is, which means that Sloking probably all it had was probably water attacks. So uh, since Growl is normal, okay, he does a Kingdra, and since it was normal, that was the best thing he could have done in that situation, which was just go for a normal type move on a water type. I'm saying that, but I don't know what Slow King would have at that level. He probably had Tackle. But it was probably a 50-50 at that point if he had Tackle and Growl. Okay, but now the real question is, what's Kingdra going to have? It's going to have Twister, that's fine. This is special, so that Leer's not going to help out at all. And thankfully, Kenya is stronger than a Kingdra. Yeah, because what other Dragon moves are in this game? Because I know Dragon Pulse isn't until Dra in, uh, not until Dragon Hall. Dragon Pulse isn't until Gen 4. Is Dragon Claw in Gen 2? I know it wasn't in Gen 1, because in Gen 1, the only actual Dragon-type move was Dragon Rage. Is Dragon Claw in this game, or did that get introduced in Gen 3? Because I know there's a TM for Dragon Claw in, um... In Victory Road with Fire Red Leaf Green, so I know it's for cer certain in Gen 3. I actually don't know. Yeah, because I, I know at the very least there's like maybe two, maybe three Dragon Time moves. Is Outrage even in this game? Again, I know Outrage is in Gen 3. I, lo I love how I'm focusing on that and not on the actual battle. But I mean, he has a tentacle going for ramp. Thankfully, again, it's not Gen 1 ramp, so I can actually attack. Yeah. The levels are all a little whack in this game, and the AI, while it is kind of smart, at the same time, it's kind of dumb. Your last Pokemon is a Tyranitar. Okay, so, hold on here. Sprite, buddy, you had a Kingdra, which is Water and Dragon, only has one weakness. You had a Legendary in the form of a Zapdos, and now you have a Tyranitar. So you have the pseudo Legendary of this generation. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, like those, like half your team was absolutely stacked. Because what else did he have? He had a Tentacool, and then he had one other Mon that I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, Slow King. It's in Slow King, a Pokemon that's decently bulky, especially on the physical side. So he had a pseudo, a legendary, a water dragon, and then a water psychic. Like half your most of his team was pretty good. Yeah, this is definitely the heart. This probably is the best team he's had so far. So I have I commend you, Sprite. I actually. I mean, this, this statement right here, he, yeah, he did assemble the toughest Pokemon, minus, obviously, Tentacool. Actually, kind of crazy. 
I kind of want a Tyranitar now. Alright, bye Sprite. Alright, time to figure out this fun. If you guys made it this far into the video, I know I've said there, I was going to have a common question of the day, but what do you guys think is the most annoying puzzle in all of Pokemon? For me, it's probably Surge's Gym. Like, Surge's Gym definitely isn't the most difficult thing in the world, but I would definitely say it's probably the most annoying and time-consuming. Because even if you can find the one, you'll have either uh, a 50-50 chance or a 75% chance to find the second one. And obviously if you miss that coin flip or you get don't get that quarter correctly, you have to start all over and it's quite time consuming. Like I'm pretty sure my longest run in Surge's gym just trying to figure out the puzzle was like maybe an hour. But that was obviously back when I was a kid. Okay, what do you do? I can get this thing here. There's a spoon which is psychic. Which I will take because I know Celebi has confusion. Um What do I want to give up? I'll actually just use this. Um what do I want to use it on? Let's use it on yeah, let's use it on Fire Punch. Just so then I can grab this and give it to Celebi. Oh, there's multiple door. Oh wait, no, no, that no, that's the actual. That's actually where I need to go. Okay, I see now. I see the vision. Okay, but yeah, Surge's puzzle is probably the like. It's not again. It's not the most difficult. It is definitely the most annoying. Hello, Gyarados. Yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think is the most annoying puzzle in all of Pokemon. Yeah, because Surge, Surge's gym puzzle is definitely up there. I would definitely also say probably the underground puzzle here, but I would say that this is probably one of the hardest, especially if you've never played this game, or like in my case, I've rarely played Gen 2. Because I know the puzzle between gold and silver and heart gold so silver are drastically different. Not to mention you can also see the switches so you know which doors you're you're changing. Raikou, hello there. I don't really have anything for a Raikou. So let's go for Dialga, and I forgot to give you the twisted spoon, so your confusion's not powered up. I also kinda like the Raikou sprite. Right, how much is this gonna do? Well, that would have done more if you had the uh, what's more call it? The twisted spoon that would have done a little bit more damage. Let's so, see. Yeah, the episode doesn't end today until I take care of all the Team Rocket stuff. We can start heading towards the eighth gym. Like it is still kind of surreal to me, and I, and I say this every time that we're getting towards the eighth gym. Because then I gotta decide if I want to go to Kanto, or if I want to end this series at the Johto League. Which a lot of people do, because they don't want to deal with the Kanto stuff. Because obviously the main purpose of a Nuzlocke is to get to Pokemon League and win there. So anything with red is always 100% optional. I've, I've always done it, because you know I always feel like that's you know part of the game. Like you won the first round, but red's round two. Now the question is, do I want to tap out at round two and go on to the next game, which I think might be... I'm thinking it'll probably be Platinum. We might be the next game I do. But we will have to see. What do... Any of these do? I just want to kind of poke around and see what they do. And see if I can figure this out. <laughs> Hello, Growth. How you doing? You know what? Let's let let's let Shiny get hit the field.
Sun Current is fine, even though it's obviously a grass type. Sun Current has the lowest. Is Sun Current the one with the lowest base stat total of all time? I know it's one, definitely one of them. It's either yeah, it's either Sun Current or one of the bugs that has like the lowest base stat total of them all. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, I, that didn't do anything. Uh, what do you have to say? Change the order of switching. That change where the shutters open and close. Yeah, so there is actually a combination. Oh boy. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, that closed that. So does... Wait, Hit number one again. Mm. Oh boy. This sure is a fun puzzle game freak. Okay, this is open now. And didn't really go anywhere. Hey, there, there's an item there. Maybe I can get a master ball. Oh, huh, hello Articuno. I was surprised this is the first time I've seen Articuno. I've seen Zapdos and Moltres a few times. This is the first time I've actually seen Articuno. I actually kind of like this sprite. It's kind of cool, actually. And then a Dawn Fan, which we will go right into... Mr. Fur Alligator. Let's see here. So, what does this do then? Oh boy, this is. Oh, this opened up. Okay, that lets me go there now. Interesting. Okay, future editing me will probably put this into fast motion. Out of this guy. It's been about 10 minutes here, me to kind of going about trying to figure this out. I'll probably give myself another five minutes or so after I do this battle and look up a guide on how to do this. Because, oh boy, is this really just taking all the, my brain power to figure this out? And they expected the kid back in, what was it, 1999 when this game came out? Like early, like early 2000, 1999 to figure this out. I know I wouldn't have, I would never have figured this out. Holy. Okay, 
like if this episode goes on for another 20 minutes yet, you'll know I, that I either A, just couldn't figure it out, or B, just decided to be stubborn and not look up a guide. <laughs> or a bit of both. Or a bit of both. But this should let me get the items up here. Yep, let's see here. Ooh, another citrus berry, I'll take that. That'll be useful for later. Alrighty, back to fast motion. Oh, I just figured it out. <laughs> I, I actually literally, legitimately just figured that out. Like, I wasn't... Wow, that was... Not even 30 seconds after I said that. Well, I will definitely take that. Imagine I lose here, though. That'd be funny as I'll get out. That's actually awesome that I managed to figure... I managed to f actually figure that out without any sort of guide, without anything. Like, I legitimately didn't look up at anything. That's nuts. I guess I'm kind of better at doing puzzles than I thought I was. Because, I mean, all I was essentially doing is, okay, okay, because the guy said, depending on what order you hit the switches, will determine how they actually operate. So I was essentially just doing, okay, if I do this, what does this do? I was experimenting the entire time. And that's awesome that I managed to do that. Hello, Scizor. I would not, I would not mind adding you to my team. Though at this point, I think outside of a, probably a legendary, my team is probably set. Cool, cool, cool. And this just unlocks the whole thing, right? Yeah, that unlocks the whole thing. Cool, cool, cool. So I never have to do that again now. Sick. Ooh, yeah, there's, there's, there should be, like, a couple items down here, too. Again, I'm praying for a Master Ball. That's always the big thing. Hello, Muck, how are you doing? much to hit a lantern with, so let's go with Spyro, and just hit it as hard as I can. Yeah, because, actually, if you're editing me, uh, can you go back and actually see how long it took me to figure that puzzle out? I'm curious for not only myself, but I'm sure the audience is as well, because I feel like that was like 15-20 minutes, or I could, you know, just be losing my mind, which, you know, I am anyways. But if you could let us know how long it took me to do that, that'd be fantastic. But cool, cool, the rest of it is literally just battles. Which, Master Ball. Berserk Gene. What on earth is that? That is legitimately something I have never heard of. I, I gotta see what this is. That this is that's a new item by me. Is this like an event item or something? What is this? Uh boost attack that causes confusion. What on before I forget, let me get Celebi. Is it spoon? Is it like a it's like a it must be like a berry or something that they must consume and then they get confused, but they raise their attack. 
I know I know a couple of the stat boosting berries, but I don't think any of them cause confusion. That's interesting. That that's gotta be a Gen 2 exclusive. Oh hi Lugia! It's nice to finally see you. Yet another legendary I have not seen. And I'm pretty sure now, outside of Mew, I've officially seen all legendaries. Because I've seen Zapdos a few times, I've seen Moltres, I've seen Mewtwo in the route in Golden Rod City, that's where I also I've seen Ho-Oh, I just seen Articuno, and now obviously here is Lugia. So cool, we've seen all pretty much all the legendaries we can get in this game. Which, again, once we beat the 8th gym, we can head up to the, uh... Uh, Golden Tower and go from, what is it, Bell Tower, not Golden Tower, hello, Bell Tower. Which I wonder if that's different in this game than Heart Gold Soul Silver, I, I imagine it probably is. Walk Turtle, go in the Shucky. Go for Spark. Alrighty. Let's go get this dude, get the item, and finish off Team Rocket. Smeargle. Magneton, I'll stay in because Magneton is actually a still type in this generation, so one flame wheel will do it. Because after this, I just gotta battle uh, the female executive whose name I cannot rem ever remember, and then Archer. No, we have to face Proton too, don't we? Master Ball. Ooh, a TM actually. TM39, where are you? 39, Psyop, so I can't really use that. Yeah, I haven't really gotten a really good TM just yet. I still love that they just give it to this kid who came and rescued them instead of the police. Cool, cool, cool. Let's head up, go to the Pokemon Center, and then wrap this up. So, I know I jokingly said we'll probably reach the 40 minute mark, but Black Glasses, that's cool. We'll probably head to the 40 minute mark because, you know, me not being able to figure out the puzzle. But I think we're just going to naturally hit that mark, anyways. Which is, you know, cool. Oh, uh, so these get cleared away eventually. Okay, so unlike Heart Gold Soul Silver, all this stuff just eventually goes away. As anyone Heart Gold Soul Silver, you talk to those guys, the Machokes will move the boxes around and let you get those items. Kinda sucks that I can't do that. Alrighty then, let me go heal, and we shall finish up the episode. 
Do I want to get my next encounter while I'm at it too? I kind of do, because it's been quite a while since I've had an actual encounter. I've been itching to kind of get one. Because again, my favorite part of doing a Nuzlocke is all the encounters I can get. Do, 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 do. This is Proton, right? Because he's usually the one you battle after you unlock the gate, right? This is this is an executive. Nope, it's a grunt. Okay, so it's not Proton. Hello, unknown. Why are you green? Or is this, uh, because he's an alphabet, is this a homage to Pokemon ZA? It'd be funnier if you were the, if you were Z or A. But I guess that little theory wouldn't be too far-fetched. <laughs> uh, please don't, please don't unsubscribe from that. I'm funny sometimes, I swear. I swear I can make some half-decent jokes. Point going on there? No, there's no item or nothing. Aim Rocket Fortress. So is this Proton then? No, this is Archer. No, this is no, this is an Archer. This is um. Oh, I can't remember what his name is. It's the Murkrow guy at the Mahogany Town base. Or is this Archer? Yeah, I know, because yeah, that's Archer's sprite. Oh, I can never remember. Or is this supposed to be Proton? Because Proton didn't have a, an actual sprite. Yep, this is... I think, I can't, I can't even remember her name. I'm pretty sure it starts with an A. Like I, like, I know which executive this is, because obviously there's only three of them, and one of them being a girl, but I can't remember what her name is. You would think after all the years of me playing Pokemon HeartGhost all silver, I would remember. But I unfortunately do not. I'm pretty sure her name starts with an A. I'm like 95% sure it starts with an A. not paying attention, I was looking on Twitter. What's she sending in? Oh, Tar, that's fine. Oh wait, I'm kind of low on the NHP, and Tar's is high attack. Wait, but this is special though, and I don't think Pursuit has its secondary effect in this generation. Oh, it does. We're doubles the power if I swap out on it. That's fine. Uh, But it's fine, though. If this was, you know, Gen 3 or Gen 4, then I'd probably be a little scared, but thankfully we are 
good. I think I didn't use Horn Attack because I probably would have. I probably would have taken out my Celebi if he would have used Horn Attack instead of Pursuit. But again, the AI is designed to use whatever it thinks is the best move, which is usually, okay, what's super effective, which obviously Pursuit is because it's Dark type. But unfortunately, that was not the right answer. So, nothing against the AI in this game. They're smart for what they can do, but at the same time, they're kind of dumb. Right, one fire punch be more than enough, and then I can use my potions to heal up the team again before I go battle the final boss, which should be Archer. Yeah, Archer's the final one. Okay, let me keep a potion up. So thankfully, it's just Dialga, and I'll use another one. Get it back to full. And I think Dragonite will be fine with just a regular potion. Yeah. Alrighty, hello there. Yeah, unfortunately they won't tell me his name, but this should be... Oh yeah, it's, it's the same sprite, so... I guess... Oh yeah, because yeah, cause the Mahogany Hound dude had the same sprite as well. Ooh, hello Umbreon. I'm surprised I haven't seen you yet. Let me head on over to Kenya to take care of this, because uh, Umbreon is quite bulky. So I just need to try to hit it with super effective damage as much as I can. Okay, next one is a Haunter, so I do have to swap out. Yeah, we'll go in a Dialga. Which, oh yeah, that's right, I do, I have a Haunter that I could potentially use, because I got that from the, uh, from the Electrodes. I forgot that I got that last time. But obviously, I'll worry about my final team, probably before I get to the 8th gym. Oh, it did one shot, cool. Curse, so it will just take itself out. And a Tauros coming in, so Kenya, you can come back out, buddy, and finish this off. Let's see, we're at about 40 minutes. Do I want to go for the pure hour of power just so I can get my next encounter? I think I do. I do think I want to go for the full hour then. So we'll give myself another 20 minutes of recording time here. Especially since, obviously, I also didn't, uh record Thursday or Tuesday's episode, unfortunately. And oh, you went to sleep, did you? That's fun. Is there any stronger fighting type moves in this game? Because I don't think... Is Dynamic Punch? No, Dynamic Punch isn't a thing yet. That's a Gen 3 move. So I think Karate Chop is probably the strongest fighting type move in this game. Unless I'm forgetting something. Which, knowing me, I probably am. Alrighty, cool. This is the end of Team Rocket. Rainbow Wing. So I got one part of going to see Ho-Oh.
cool, cool, cool. Let's head back to Mahogany Town and start heading toward Blackthorn City. on the road again. There's grass on this route, right? Yes, there's... Yeah, there's a small patch. To, if I go off that, take the top path. There's a small patch I can run into. So I can indeed get two encounters. So, if, yeah, we're at about 43 minutes with recording. But if I obviously speed up that time I was in that puzzle, probably be at a, probably about 15 minutes or so. Which, either way, once I get my next two encounters, I will end the episode. Hi, Ranatar. I know there's a small patch of grass here. I mean, if anything, otherwise I'll have to just use Surf. Hello, Quagsire. Nice to see you. Plus one fly. Does it one shot a Quagsire? Yes, it does. Yeah, being plus one in this game is so good. You, you don't even have to be like plus six or anything to just one shot everything. And then again, why am I surprised? I'm literally a Dragonite. Plus one Dragonite is pretty much decimates anything and everything. Master Ball. Leaf Stone, which I have no use for, so I will leave that there. It looks like I will have to Surf. I think the yep there's the pad of grass there it is and there's also an item here master ball dragon fang which I don't have any dragon fang moves so it's not gonna be any useful to me either but at least I can get my next encounter which will be a Mewtwo nope it's a Typhlosion so this will be a re-encounter because obviously as you can see on your screen I already have a Typhlosion I mean, if Typhlosion is the only thing I can get in this grass, then I'll just surf and get my actual encounter then. Okay, I will give it two more attempts, then I'll just re rely on surf. I should probably also swap Shucky to the front of the party, just so I can Thunder Wave.
Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's see what we can get here. Please be something other than a Typhlosion. It's a Jolteon, actually. I will take this. I can paralyze electric. Yep, I can paralyze electric types in this game. Because obviously in older games you can do this, in the modern modern day you cannot. Jolteon, this might actually be a contender for the final team because Jolteon is definitely a better electro type than. Shucky. But at the same time, Shucky's my starter. Do I really want to... Hmm. Obviously, we'll worry about that when we get that far. Yeah, but I know since Jolteon's a stone evolution, Thundershock is probably the best electro-type move it's going to get. Come on, Jolteon, please get in the Great Ball. That's probably also go go back to Golden Run and get more Pokeballs while I'm at it. I don't think I can hit this thing with anything. Yeah, because Spark would probably... It's probably in range for Spark to kill it. I doubt... It. The only thing I could potentially hit it with is Typhlosion's Quick Attack, but I'm pretty sure that will that'll kill it too. Wait, no, I can use, uh, I can use Confuse Ray. Let it hit itself. Perfect. Yeah, but after I, yeah, but after this, I'm definitely gonna get the Ice Path Encounter. Probably call it an episode. And definitely get more Pokeballs out for this, too, because I... Need some. Jolteon, please stay in the Pokeball, because never mind, okay, cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty then, cool. Uh Spyro, fly. Head back to Goldenrod for a sec here. There, then I'll have 30 Great Balls, which should ca let me catch pretty much anything. Hopefully, at least. Right, back to Mahogany Town. Alright, but thankfully now it should be just a pretty much a straight shot if I take the top path. I'm pretty sure there's only one more uh, battle up ahead, pretty sure. Yeah, because it's against Bird Keeper Toby, that, as he is in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yep, this would be a Bird Keeper. Maybe, yeah, this should be Toby. Yeah. Oh, it's Vance. I could have sworn he was Toby in the modern and her was was over. I guess I am wrong. That'll be instant one shot for me. And we're at 51 minutes roughly without the speed up yet. So yeah, I'll skip my next encounter and then go from there.
All right, Ice Cave, please give me a good encounter. All right, see what we got here. Me too. No, it's actually a Magnemite, which I will take. Magnemite's actually a pretty solid Pokemon, or I should say Magneton is. Obviously, it's not as good as he is in the modern day without Magnezone, but this will be a still a pretty solid encounter, especially in case something happens to Shucky and I need a new electric type. Wait, did you not get paralyzed? I must have missed. Oh, I used Confuse Ray, that's what I did. Oh crap, so I can't paralyze him. I just gotta start chucking balls, otherwise I'm gonna lose him. I meant to click Thunder Wave, I wasn't paying attention again. Thankfully, Magnetine, uh, Magnetine, hello. Magnemite has a pretty good catch rate. Cool, cool, cool. And with that, that'll do it for today's episode. I will leave the Ice Path and then obviously the 8th Gym for next episode. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss a single up episode. Because I usually try to upload every Tuesday and Thursday and then potentially over the weekend with either uh, another Nuzlocke video or a Dragon Ball video, which... Especially with the Festival of Universes coming back around, definitely keep an eye out for that because I will be making a couple videos on those, especially with the new Festival exclusive partners that will be coming pretty quick. So with that all said, once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.